RDP stands for Remote Desktop Protocol. It is a proprietary protocol developed by Microsoft that allows users to connect to another computer over a network, enabling them to control that computer remotely as if they were sitting right in front of it. Key Features of RDP 1. Remote Access RDP allows a user to access and interact with a computer remotely. 1. This is often used in business environments where employees need to work from home, or IT staff need to troubleshoot or manage computers remotely. 2. Graphical User Interface GUI. One of the significant advantages of RDP is that it provides full graphical access to the remote computer's desktop. 2. The user can see the desktop, open applications, and interact with the system just like they would on a local computer. 3. Cross-platform compatibility. While RDP was originally designed for Windows, it can also be used on other platforms, like macOS, Linux, and mobile devices, through RDP clients or apps. 3. For example, Microsoft's remote desktop client for macOS allows a macOS user to connect to a Windows machine using RDP. 4. Encryption. RDP connections are typically encrypted, providing secure communication between the remote client and the remote machine. 4. However, the level of encryption can depend on the version of RDP and the security configurations of the systems involved. 5. Multiple sessions. RDP allows multiple users to connect to the same server at the same time. 5. This is commonly used in environments where employees share access to a centralized server or machine. 6. Clipboard sharing and file transfer. One of the benefits of RDP is that it supports features like clipboard sharing and file transfer between the local machine and the remote one. 6. This can make working remotely more efficient since users can easily copy text, images, or files between systems. How RDP works. When using RDP, you initiate a remote session by connecting to a specific IP address or host name of the remote computer. The RDP server, running on the remote machine, listens for incoming connections, while the RDP client, running on the local machine, sends input, keyboard and mouse, to the remote machine and receives the display output. 1. Authentication. Once a connection is established, the user needs to authenticate, usually with a username and password, to ensure they have permission to access the remote system. 2. Graphical display. After authentication, the remote desktop environment is displayed on the client's screen, and the user can interact with it just like they would on their own local computer. 3. Session Management RDP allows multiple remote sessions on a single server. 3. The server can manage different users accessing the machine, either concurrently or sequentially, ensuring a smooth multi-user experience. Uses of RDP 1. Remote Work RDP is widely used for enabling remote work, allowing employees to access their office computers or servers from any location with internet access. 2. IT Support IT technicians often use RDP to troubleshoot and provide remote support to users without needing to be physically present at the computer. 3. Server Management RDP is often used by administrators to manage servers remotely. 3. It is essential for environments where administrators need to configure and monitor systems without being physically in the server room. 4. Virtual Desktops In virtualized environments, RDP is frequently used to connect to virtual desktops or virtual machines, allowing users to interact with the systems remotely. Security Considerations While RDP is a powerful tool, it has been the target of cyber attacks, including brute force attacks, malware, and ransomware, particularly when exposed directly to the internet. It's essential to secure RDP connections to prevent unauthorized access. Some best practices for securing RDP include 1. Using strong passwords and multi-factor authentication MFA. 2. Disabling RDP when not needed or using a VPN virtual private network, to access the system securely. 3. Implementing firewalls and IP restrictions to limit access only to trusted networks. 4. Enabling Network Level Authentication NLA, for an additional layer of security. Alternatives to RDP 
There are several alternatives to RDP for remote desktop access, such as 1. VNC, Virtual Network Computing, another protocol for remote desktop access, typically open source and cross-platform. 2. TeamViewer, a popular third-party tool for remote access and support, often used for personal or business use. 3. Chrome Remote Desktop, a free remote desktop tool from Google that works through the Chrome browser. Conclusion. RDP is a widely used protocol for remotely accessing and managing computers. Whether it's for remote work, IT support, or server management, RDP offers a flexible and secure way to access systems over a network. However, because of its popularity, it's essential to ensure that RDP connections are properly secured to prevent unauthorized access and potential DM on Telegram for card by open Telegram and search username at XYZC5.